Hello students, welcome to the physics online class. So this is the second session. First session was already done by Vikram Zichar. He had discussed the definition of method and kinetic theory of matter. So in this session, I am going to discuss the kinetic theory of matter again to recapitulate your previous knowledge and the properties of matter that is solid, liquid and gas. Okay, let's start. First, we have a video about the kinetic theory of matter. In this video, this molecule decides to visit his friends, his fellow molecules in three states, solid, liquid, and gaseous. Let's see what we deserve. He first goes to his friends in the solid state. He sees that the molecules are packed together very tightly. They vibrate about their mean position. So he's not happy. Then he sees his friends in the liquid state. He observes that the molecules are able to move. They are not as close as to each other as in solid state. And in, and in the gaseous state, he observes that the molecules are freely moving in the room. They are very apart from each other and so he happily joins them. So this is what happens in three states of matter. In solid, the particles are packed together very tightly. They are very close to each other. In liquid, the particles are not. Okay? <clears throat> See. Based on these observations, we get kinetic model of three states. So this one is the kinetic model of solid state, according to which the particles in the solid state are very close to each other and vibrate about their mean position. So let's see, since the particles are very close to each other, the intermolecular spaces between them is very small and that is why they attract each other with bigger force. That is the intermolecular forces between them is very strong. So in liquids, the intermolecular spaces are very small. That is why the intermolecular forces are very strong. Okay, so let's see the kinetic model of the liquid state. So in this the particles are not as close to each other as in the solid state. They are able to move a little more freely than in the solid state. So this is what we get for the solid state. In liquids, the spaces between the particles are larger as compared to the solid state. So, in the, so the intermolecular spaces for the liquid are larger as compared to solids. And that is why the intermolecular force, that is the force which attracts the particles to each other, are bigger as compared to solid. Okay? In the kinetic model of gaseous state, we know that the particles are freely moving. The spaces between them are very large. So the intermolecular spaces between the particles in a gaseous state are very large. That is why the intermolecular forces between the particles of the matter of the gaseous state are very weak. The gases have a very weak intermolecular force of attraction and that is why since they has a very large space between the particles. The intermolecular spaces are very large. That is the reason why gases occupy the entire space that is available to them. So in a room, they occupy the entire space, the entire room, because the particles are very apart from each other. Okay. So kinetic theory of matter is the theory that all matters are made up of atoms and molecules are always moving. These particles hold kinetic energy and move around in random direction. In higher temperature, the particles have very high energy and in low temperature, the particles have less energy. The more energy a particle has, the faster it will move. So from these observations, we get the kinetic theory of matter. Okay. Kinetic theory of matter for solid, liquid and gaseous state. So, these are the main five points of kinetic theory of matter. See, matter is made up of tiny particles. There is a spaces between molecules in matter called intermolecular spaces. Then molecules are attracted to each other by intermolecular forces. Then molecules move continuously. Hence, they possess kinetic energy. And the last one is when the temperature of matter is increased, the kinetic energy of the molecule in it also increases. When the temperature decreases, the kinetic energy decreases. The kinetic energy of a molecule is thus directly proportional to its temperature. Okay, let's see. See, kinetic energy is directly proportional to the temperature. So, whenever the temperature will increase, the kinetic energy will also increase. Okay. Next, we have states of matter. 
matter is made of particles we already know so there are three states of matter first one is solid then liquid and gaseous state the different states of matter are due to the different arrangement of particles of matter okay in solid state the particles of matter are very close to each other the solid particles hold each other very tightly that is there is a strong force of attraction between them solids have a definite shape and volume see the rock and in liquid state the particles are packed closely together okay the particles in liquids are much further apart than the particles in solids the force of attraction in liquids is weaker than it is in solids so that's why liquids have a definite volume but they do not have a definite shape so the liquids take up the shape of the container in which they are kept next we have the gaseous state so see the gaseous state in gaseous state what happens the particles of matter are very far away from each other the force of attraction between particles of matter in gases is very weak gases have neither a definite shape nor volume gases can fill the entire space or volume of a container irrespective of the container on the previous videos we have seen uh, properties of solids are solids have a definite volume fixed shape and free surfaces so first point is the molecules of a solid are closely packed together the intermolecular space in solids is the least among the three states of matter that is solid liquid and gas hence the intermolecular force is the strongest in solids second is since the intermolecular force is strong the molecules in a solid cannot move away from one another easily they only vibrate about their fixed position this is why solids have a fixed shape and volume then because the shape of solids is fixed they can have number of free surfaces then solids cannot be compressed easily because the molecules are closely packed and the intermolecular space is small then on heating the molecules gain energy and vibrate more this increases the space between molecules and decreases the intermolecular force hence solids expand on heating next we have properties of liquids liquids have a definite volume and one free surface they take the shape of the container since they do not have a shape of their own so the first point is the molecules of a liquid are not as closely packed as those of solids and can move over one another easily hence liquids can flow then since the intermolecular force is weaker liquids cannot maintain a fixed shape this is why they have only one free surface then the intermolecular space is only slightly larger and the molecular force only slightly weaker in liquids than in solids because of this liquids cannot be compressed easily then we have when a liquid is heated the molecules gain energy and move more easily the intermolecular space increases this is why liquids expand on heating then since the molecules of a liquid are in constant motion they collide against the walls of the container thus exerting pressure on the container on all sides then we have properties of gases gases do not have a definite volume or shape okay the first point is the molecules of gases are loosely packed and far apart from one another then the intermolecular space is the largest among the three states of matter and thus the intermolecular force is the weakest among the three states of matter that is solid liquid and gas so gases can change their shape and volume easily and expand to fill any container then since the intermolecular space is so large gases can be compressed easily 
Intermolecular force in gases is very weak. Their expansion on heating is much more than that observed in solids or liquids. See, the molecules of gases like those of liquids are in constant motion. They collide against each other and against the wall of the container that does exerting pressure on all sides. So these properties of solids, liquids and gases, uh, those are all given in your book. So I'll not send any PDF for this video. So write it down from the book. Okay. And this much is for today. In the next class, we'll discuss the cohesion and adhesion. Okay. Thank you so much.